RLCD and TLCD. These are the two technologies that Ezai has been exclusively releasing over the past couple years. Well, now they're on to their 2.0 monitor. And what does this feature? RLCD with a UHR coating. Standard LCD, when light passes through the stack, ends up generating 4% reflection on average and only 91% of visual transmission when it reaches your eyes. However, with a UHR coating, there is as little as 0.5% reflection and up to 98% visual transmission. So to sum up the technical jargon, it severely cuts down on how reflective and mirror-like your tablet is while not affecting the visual of your media that you're trying to consume. So it's not reflective and it looks good. A lot of light is wasted on traditional LCD devices. But Ezai, with their latest technology, has been trying to combat that to the best of their abilities. So now let's talk about the build. To be honest, the first generation of Monitor almost had a little bit of a prototype feel, as even though it was released, it mostly was. But this unit is completely finished and sealed up, much like the TLCD portable monitor released prior. This unit features a matte black bezel with a high quality thick plastic body. The new redesigned logo rests nicely on the back, with a bump at the bottom to accommodate most of the PCB and the other ports. Speaking of the ports, you have two USB-Cs on one side with an HDMI, and on the left side you have a power button, menu navigation, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Honestly, aside from the screen, build-wise, the hinge is the star of the show. It is ridiculously tight, more so than you think. Over-torqued, in fact, which is a good thing. You don't want this to get loose, and it sure looks like it won't. You have to apply great pressure in order to move the hinge up and down, and it is accompanied by some pretty nice rubber stoppers at the bottom, and you can turn the unit to a pretty extreme angle. Not only that, the back has a VESA mount, which are the screws you screw into the back, where you can mount it to wall-mounted TV stands, other computer poles, and various sorts. So with all the technical stuff out of the way, let's see what this is all about. You'll see that we have an LED panel studio light on in the reflection, but guess what? We're going to turn it off. That's right. That is how reflective this screen is. This will be completely done using ambient light throughout the review of this unit. This thing is a little bit of a chameleon based off of the way you look at it. And we're going to be showing you a bunch of angles as we go. You'll see that when we look at it at, say, a 30 degree angle, the left side over there is a little bit brighter. But when we go to the right side where the ambient light is furthest away, where the monitor contacts it, it gets a little bit dark. And this can be a little bit extreme at times, but it just goes to show you that if you position this right, you use significantly less power and you don't have to have the backlight on even a little bit or even so much as a lamp on in your room. When you purposefully point it at a window, you'll see that we have these reflective splotches all over the screen. This was by design to show you guys that even when you have some super overexposed light, you do still see the image behind everything. So you can just check over here. You can see how even though this room is completely ambient, you can still kind of make out what's behind it. And if you block off the light, it becomes extremely visible. So the coating doesn't only cut down on reflectivity, it actually increases the amount of bounce back of the visual, like we said at the top of the hour, that hits your eye. Because at its core, this is still LCD, hence the word RLCD, that there's not going to be a huge shock to the senses when you use this because the same cell phone or computer screen or tablet or even television you're watching this very video on is some variation of LCD or to a further extent maybe LED. But still, it's not going to be the same as e-paper with all the slowdowns and having to manage the appearance of it. The other extreme angle would be this one, which is it pointing away from the window where the ambient light is coming in. This one is just pointed at the north wall of our studio here. So you can see even with that, pointing it away from the ambient light source, you still do get an adequate amount of visibility. You will see here that this is the same shot as I pass my hand in the foreground showing you there's no divide. But with 
a non-reflective LCD on the left, you can see me quite clearly. You can make out the skin tone of the color of my face. You can almost make out the color of the sweater I'm wearing. But the RLCD ultra high reflectivity coating on the right, it starts to dilute all the reflectivity in that you can't quite see what's going on. Whereas the laptop on the left is fully reflective. So it just goes to show you that that coating retains all of the vibrancy and all of what you would expect out of a monitor, but at the same point, cut down on all the reflectivity at less power consumption while using natural light. And even though we turn down our laptop here on the left, it is still utilizing the backlight as the backlight is still active. One of the things that I truly appreciate is that even though this is hyper reflective, the computer we've been referring to this entire time, this has a coating on it like we've said, but it doesn't dilute the image. Sometimes when we see devices like the Remarkable that have a little bit of a gritty sandpaper coating on top in order to give better writing feel, it comes at a detriment of the visual, but this visual is retained. So you get all of the benefits without affecting the actual product. It's not any more fuzzy, it's not diluted, it's not washed out. It is just simply a coating that they put in the stack before they put it in the housing itself. Honestly, this company is one of the more outlying brands we've reviewed over the years. They have a great respect for e-paper, so much so that they are saying their devices simulate the appearance of e-paper with none of the lag and none of the refresh drawbacks. They have seemed to accomplish this and have been outdoing themselves on every subsequent release of their products. It literally and visually does just keep getting better and better for Ezai, and this one is on the right path as best as you can say it. This is ridiculously well put together in comparison. It is every bit as advertised. It reflects the natural light to a startling degree, lowers power consumption, and plays back media flawlessly. Does it simulate e-paper? No, not at all. It's not meant to on this one at least. However, it is easy on the eyes.